How's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here. Now my wife and I have been living off grid for the last four years and most of it we've been living on rainwater. And we get a lot of questions about how safe is the rainwater? Does it ever go stagnant? And recently you might have heard stories about forever chemicals in rainwater. And rainwater is supposedly not safe to drink anywhere in the world anymore. Well let's put that to the test. Literally. We got a water test kit, which comes with some test strips and some bottles. And we will test exactly what's in the water, even any bacterial contaminants. Let's see how safe this rainwater really is to drink. Now these right here are our two poly tanks. It's where all the water we currently use gets stored. We have a cistern, but we're not using that cistern right now. So this is the tanks where I'll be testing the water from. We recently just got rain, so they should be nice and full. And uh, I'm anxious to see what the results are. So I'm gonna climb up there, get a sample of water, and then we'll test what's going on in there. And we'll test the water at several points because it goes through several filtration processes and we'll see what the water looks like at each point. That bacterial test will take 48 hours. So I'm gonna get that sample ready to go and we'll check back in at that point. But the strip test we should be able to do just about right away. We're gonna do this someplace very scientific like the back of my car. I'm gonna set up for the bacterial test first. Got to shake for 20 seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna put this in someplace cool and out of the sunlight for it to do its thing. Now let's do a strip test. Uh-oh, watch out, strip test. This should go relatively quick. I just dip the stick in here for two seconds and then I think we get pretty much a read right away. So, um, these are the results. The pH is at about a 6. Hardness, maybe about a uh, 25, 50. Hydrogen sulfide, 0. Iron, very low. Copper, looks like a 0 to me. Maybe a 0 0.2. Lead, 0. Manganese, 0. Total chlorine, zero. Mercury, zero. Nitrates might be about a, maybe about a 10, maybe about a 25. Nitrite is zero. Sulfate, zero. Zinc, looks to me about a zero. Fluoride, zero. Sodium chloride, zero. And total alkalinity, zero. So as far as what the water contains, I think it's, it's, it's pretty good as far as some of these elements go. Okay, now this is coming right from our Berkey filter. So this is what I definitely wanna test because this is what we're drinking. So I'm gonna get a little sample of this. Again, I'm gonna shake this for 20 seconds until it's ready. All right, back out here in the lab. Now this sample is from our faucet. So now this goes through an inline filter before it goes into the fresh water tank. So this goes through one filtering process before we use it for like maybe washing dishes or taking a shower. Again, pH looks very good. Hardness, zero. Manganese, zero. Total chlorine, zero. Mercury, zero. Nitrate, zero. Nitrite, zero. Sulfate, zero. Zinc, zero. Fluoride, zero. Sodium chloride, zero. And total alkalinity, zero. Uh, looking really good. We'll test the water from the Berkey, but uh, I'm pretty sure these results aren't gonna get worse after going through another filter process. <laughs> okay, and just in case anyone was wondering, yes, I am using a different cup each time so it's not contaminated by the previous uh, water. Means I'll have to do more dishes, but hey, it's for science. I'm doing it for science. Okay, so this has gone through the Berkey filter. Well, first it's gone through the inline filter, now it's gone through the Berkey filter, and this is what we drink. This is any water we give to the animals. It all goes through here. One 1,000, two 1,000. Shake it off. And yeah, I mean, these results shouldn't surprise. Six, zero, 
zero 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 sulfate zero zinc zero fluoride zero sodium chloride zero total alkalinity zero looking really good all right so i'm really pleased with the test strip results those look fantastic now the big question will be uh, any harmful bacteria we only got two of those tests so i've tested one from the tanks and one from the berkey which we drink now it'll be interesting to see how that turns out it'll take 48 hours before we get those test results so we'll bring you back then and we'll get the big reveal so hang on so it has now been 48 hours and i got the results back from the bacteria test for the water. I'm excited, I can't wait to find out exactly what's going on with this water. I've been actually wanting to test this out for a very long time and I'm really pleased with the results so far. But now let's see how the bacteria test resulted. It should be interesting, now I tested both the Berkey and the water straight from the Polytex. Let's see how they look. Now this is the sample from the Berkey. This is the water that we drink uh, this is the water that any of the dogs or the chickens drink. And as you can see, it's got a nice yellowy color. That means no harmful bacteria is found in this sample. That's good. But this, I mean, this is the water that we ingest. So that's really good to know. But now what about the source? Now, the water from the poly tanks. Now, this water we use for just about anything else. Uh, Maybe we use this water to kind of wash some of the food. We use this to wash dishes. We use this to wash ourselves. Is this bacteria contaminated? Let's find out. Well, this is the sample from the poly tanks. And as you can see, yellow. That's exactly what you want to see. Now, uh, you can tell uh, these are both the same color. So, I mean, no bacteria in each of them. So if it's yellow, no harmful bacteria was detected. If it was green, that means it would be highly likely that harmful bacteria is present. And as you can see, none of the water, either from the poly tanks or the Berkey, contains any harmful bacteria. That's really good to know. All right, so here's Jessica. Uh, I told her all of the results. What are your thoughts? Are you surprised? Are you not so surprised? I don't know, what do you think? I wasn't sure quite what the results would be. I can't really say I'm surprised. I am really glad that we did these tests. Sure. Be a little peace of mind. Yeah. So we did a video a little while ago about rainwater harvesting and some of the myths or questions and concerns that people often have about it. Like, is it legal? Is it safe for drinking? We just kind of said it is safe for drinking, but we didn't put it to the test, did we? Yeah, so now we have the proof, at least for us. And in that video, we did talk about like all the precautions that we take through the whole process of rainwater harvesting to make sure that this water is usable and safe. It shows in the tests. That proof is in the pudding, right? Yeah. You collect rainwater the correct way and it can be very safe to drink. So the only thing I saw uh, in particular about the strip test was that it leaned slightly acidic. That's not not really a surprise nice. for rainwater. Yeah. And some people may have concerns about that, but there's, I mean, there's ways you can deal with that. But uh, no bacteria, especially in the drinking water, like none in there. And then of course, not in the tanks, which is fantastic. But then again, if you curl, Collect it the right way, making sure no, no organic matter gets in there, making sure no light gets in there. That is exactly the way it should be. But another concern people have had lately is that there, I think there was been an article recently saying rainwater isn't safe to drink anywhere in the world now due to forever chemicals. Now I can't speak to whether we have any forever chemicals in these tanks because this test that we did, you know, it's just a simple at home test. So we just, the strips, and then the little vials. That's probably good enough for me. I would probably be fine with that. Um, how about you? Are you concerned about forever chemicals in the rainwater? It would be interesting to, to see. But is that gonna stop you from drinking rainwater knowing that there could be forever chemicals in there? No, I kind of think like if it's in rainwater, it's probably in every 
water source. So there is a more comprehensive test out there, but it's like almost $300. I think it does test for the forever chemicals. If anyone wants a more comprehensive test done on a rainwater, we will do it. But leave us a comment down below whether you want to see that test done or not. We will fork over hundreds of dollars to have this test done. If you guys demand it, let us know down below if that's what you want to see. But otherwise, I'm pretty satisfied with these results. I would keep drinking it. Of course, I would keep filtering the water. I'm not going to drink, stick my head in there and drink, drink right out of the tanks. But uh, knowing that it goes through the uh, inline filter and the Berkey filter, I'm pretty pleased with the setup. Thanks for joining us as we put our rainwater to the test. And uh, I'm really pleased with the results. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Bye.